Oh, wow. Like. <laughs> that's really cool. Can Jesus I, Christ, can I buy that's this? Good. Can I buy this? Hey, weirdos, we're standing in front of Masters Special Effects. Masters FX Monster Museum. That's it. I had to look behind me because I keep forgetting <laughs> what it's called. It's an active workshop. They actually make yes. props here for movies. And so this is the first year. Yeah, they're doing basically an open house every weekend yeah. up until Halloween. Uh, you can come and check this out. It's in uh, Burnaby, it's just uh, near Brentwood. Mm -hmm. And it's a real uh, design studio of special effects. They make do all sorts of creatures, stuff that you've seen in movies for over many, many years. Mm -hmm. um, just absolutely incredible. So join us as we go and check it out. It's awesome. I can't wait. I'm already seeing so many cool things. Yeah. Let's go do this. Let's, Let's go get freaked out. Let's check it out. You can actually buy those. That's amazing. How much, so how much is that? Six, 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 <laughs> six, six. I see what you're doing. <laughs> and, and the other two are five ninety nine. Incredible. Those two. I like the shirt. It's on like a headless mannequin. <laughs> I like so that one. Good. That one's cute. They're a little thick on the thicker side, but I like them. I keep, man, they're so good. I keep thinking it's real people. Just all of a sudden jumps at me. I'm going to be upset. It does look, it looks real, it does. are you sure? Oh my God. He's not blinking, so, so I think, <laughs> but it looks ridiculously real. <laughs> I was like, he's not blinking, so. <laughs> the good doctor Wilbur the pig down there. But I was looking at these things. Oh, they're like rubber. The little pumpkins are, I think those are the pumpkins that are for sale. Yeah. Gotcha. So I was drawing your attention to this one. Rick uh, Baker. Yeah, he's I like saw that. legend. I saw that in the picture. Is that Dwight? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I gotta take pictures. Oh, it says Star Wars on it. Yeah. Is it from Star Wars? Well, Rick Baker did effects for everything. Wow, that's really cool. I, there's like so much stuff up here. Every time I look around, there's stuff on the walls too. Yeah, it's, it's like up there. amazing. I gotta look at these. Wow. Oh, yeah, there's cool. absolutely incredible stuff here. Wow. We've all been there. He's having a bad day. Ooh, it's like the nun's mouth. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, from The Conjuring. Mm-hmm. Look at that guy. Is that like the kiss head? It's a kiss pumpkin. Look at we're filming the exact same stuff. Look at stuff. the eyeball. I like the eyeball thing. Ooh. Wow. It kind of reminds me of the eyeball in uh, Star Wars. Can you imagine being slapped by that? I want you to grab it and slap my face. I want to, but I feel like, <laughs> they said that you can touch things on yeah. this table, but it oh, is kind of wow. weird. I do want to like- Boom. Do you yeah. want to high five with it? <laughs> high five the camera, wait, wait. I go that way. That's so weird. Holy cow. Oh my God, the texture on this is just, it feels it's, I'm, I'm always confused because it says don't touch, but then I think this is a touch No, area. it's like we touch anything over here, but that, that feels like Look at the wet. nail. The nail is actually hard. Like a nail, and then the rest of it's like skin. Oh my god. I mean, that's so realistic. For an ogre hand. Oh, you put it on. Put it on. Put it I don't want to put it on. Put it on. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Oh my god, they put like little hairs on it. You see there's like little hairs? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's so realistic. Incredible. So, foam on the inside and then whatever the heck is, okay, what do you got there? Ooh. Ugh. Incredible. I need oh, this. Oh wait, move that. Oh wait. Oh, yes. okay. That's Ugh. amazing. Inside, the mouth is frightening. Oh wow. Like. <laughs> that's really cool. Can Jesus I, Christ, can I buy that's this? Good. Can I buy this? Over here on the wall is a list of all of the productions, I guess, of, uh, of some of the things that we're going to be seeing in Monster the rest Hive. of this video. Hellhole on Shutter. 
Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale, I, heard, and, I read that. And Avatar. The, and The Boys. Ooh, that'd be cool to see that. In Umbrella Academy. Yeah. Look behind you. Do you recognize oh. that? What is that from? Do you know it? Do you know the face, though? I'm not sure I do know the face. I feel like it needs it's to be a sign. Familiar. But I can't place it. Jesus, Cristo, Don Santos. I don't recognize the character, but wow, does that look real. It's gonna open up his eyes and scare me. One of us is lifelike. I see something so cute right now. I gotta go look at that. Yeah, look at the guy's so head awesome. with, the, with the mouth, with the thing coming out of his mouth. Oh, that looks frightening. Mm-hmm. Absolutely incredible. Oh, I just, okay. just look up. I just looked up. I don't even, there's so many cool things. So what do we got here? Stuff from non, uh, Nancy Drew. These are frightening. Some, yeah. This is not the Nancy Drew I remember. <laughs> but I haven't watched the television show She's either. She's getting up to some new shenanigans that look really horrifying. Wow. And this guy. That's cool. I kind of remember this commercial. commercial. I kind of remember this ad. Monster Family. A Monster Family. How funny considering they're in trouble. Well, bring back the monster ads and business will excel again. <laughs> Next thing is just, now this is what I'm looking for. A pile of heads. It's just bloody heads from almost floor to ceiling. I mean, we were talking about getting a new Christmas tree, but I mean, hey. This would be an epic Halloween tree. That is so cool. Uh, this display is called Heads Up. Under here is something from Hell Hole. Oh, cool. It's, it's either what? covered up or is it's it? on the other side. No, I don't think don't it's, it's just it. covered up. Now I really want to know what's underneath it. I can see little legs, though. Yeah. Is it too horrific? Maybe. Is it got boobies? I hope so. I just said I hope so. Okay, <laughs> this guy is from a United Airlines commercial. The Chatterbox from 19, 1995. I'm going to have to look that up because I actually don't remember that. That's pretty epic. Oh. Where do you get that one? There's a multiple three. Oh, they have so many 3D printing wow, machines. Oh, that's true. That makes game, so much sense. That? Is this Predator? That is a Predator. That's cool. Look at all the different types of heads. Okay, so now this is absolutely killer. We got some oh. under mechanisms. Is that like um, structural alien? Robotic kind of thing. Um, I mean, the head would sort of kind of indicate that, an alien of some sort. Where do you get mechanism parts? Like, where do you, is this all 3D printed? I know a lot of it, they make themselves, but like yeah. the different metal, are they making the metal pieces? I think they're making everything. That's a great question. I wish there was somebody here to ask. I mean, they it's must not like be. It's not, they must it's have a metal. creation. Like they're a, just fabricating it all. Yeah, because there's metal back there. You yeah. can tell they're, they're making their own metal. Anyways, yeah. So they're doing that. Oh, God. The guy behind them in the wheelchair is really frightening. Okay, so Fringe isn't something that I've watched. I feel like I'm missing out. That looks incredible. The lighting just laid it up on it pretty perfectly right now. This is from season one, episode 13 of The Porcupine Man. Wow. Holy moly. So this guy is Laszlo from Day of the Dead, played by Peter New in uh, 2021. Ooh, there's his teeth. That's terrific. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't floss. Amazing. Oh my God. Okay, just quickly turn around right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tales, Tales from, the, from crypt. the Crypt, Demon Knight. Yeah. That's awesome. 1995. Got hoof feet. A weird version of um, an avatar. Mm-hmm. Sweet jewelry, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, avatar. Just because you're a demon doesn't mean you can't accessorize. How do they? How do they braid their hair with the claws? Um, you know, you get a friend. But all their friends probably have claws. Hey, just because they're a demon doesn't mean they don't have different kinds of friends out there. Stop prejudging them. <laughs> Not sure what this is. 
but uh, the can you look through his head? Away. Is it is it like a? I wonder. It's almost like a lens or something. Is it? I know, but that's what I feel like. It kind of looks like when you look into a camera, like the inside of a camera lens. Right. Is that where a camera goes in there and looks through his eyes? Like, I don't know. I don't know what it... Here's your face. You smile. It says something in the... Ready? <laughs> Gus looks so happy. The Gus is a uh, holy anthropomorphic. Pop it. Look at the operant. egg sack down there. Okay, is that um, the guy from D Space Nine? From what? If you, oh, well, I guess it's from. All of this is from DC Legends of Tomorrow, which oh. I haven't seen, but I thought it was. Uh, I don't think I've seen Legends of Tomorrow, but he's no. got like a little hat and his head's up there. This is the whole wardrobe for it. This is Dan Helsley, cockroach. And what's really cool is he's got some Adidas on and little teeny tiny things. I guess this must have been a, uh, a giant cockroach. I'm not familiar <laughs> with that, but it looks wicked. The littlest of people. Yeah. Someone has to wear that. Yeah, and he's got some green legs. There's a little... Green screen legs. Look at the little naked person on his <laughs> shoe. Looks like he's gotten into uh, some cinema action. Mm -hmm. Be so fun to wear. So he is standing on a table, but he's still got to be at least eight feet tall. Has to be. Maybe well, take, even ten take feet away tall. like four or five feet. Yeah. Uh, Fallen Skies was a TV show which ran between uh, 2001 and 2015. That guy is on TV. Yeah. A pile of kittens or foxes or. Looks like a mixture of animals. There's a dog, does, cat. Yeah. There's two dogs and two cats, I think. It's pretty good. And babies. Babies in a bathtub. It's like a hot tub time machine. <laughs> <laughs> what is this from? Does anybody know what this is from? Is there a sign? That's his reaction to find out we finally found out they really exist. <laughs> He's chill. He's like, yep, oh boy. I told you. This is wicked. It lives inside. These are movie ideas for us to watch, apparently. Maybe we should be watching this as our next yeah. movie. Maybe a couple different versions of the head. That's so cool. The dripping is really good. Yeah. Let me just go ahead and kill myself because it's not going to go well. No. This is from the horror film The Boy from 2016. A life-size boy doll named Brahms. I'll join you in a minute. I'm just finishing up a surgery. <laughs> uh, Shannon, can you close? Thank you. Yuck. This is from The Boys. Oh, sweet. Which I feel like I kind of remember some of these things. Which makes sense. It's a pretty gruesome show. Third season of The Boys, a prosthetic head will literally butcher lasers, gunpowder's head in half. <laughs> the third season of The Boys. That's awesome. Mindstorm. That's no good. Yeah, you're gonna feel that. Yeah, it's not gonna be great. Disfigured Black Noir. I don't... I remember that character. I don't remember the exact scene. Yeah. And then, but that that's the Umbrella so Academy. Great. It does. Wow. Look at that. But I mean, also just the likeness of the actor, too. Like, it looks like the person. Okay, this is from Legion. <laughs> <laughs> Make Predator great again. 
That's pretty funny. And speaking of Predator, was Predator really that big? <laughs> Well, that's... He's insane. Look at the hands. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, that's Is nuts. that really how big he was? There was no way. This is just a massive version of him, right? Because he was like human size, I thought. So this is Predator from the 2018 movie, which had Olivia Munn in it, right? Flip this around so I can get myself in there with Predator. That's crazy, man. Uh, I think if there was a real predator and he was literally that size, we'd just be, we're done. Any one of these people in here would Game be. over. There's this. And then there's the... Ooh. Is that where his mouth opens up and it comes out? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get it? Pieces of it. Oh, think. yeah. Is this like werewolf? Oh, here it is, right here. This is what we saw in the other room where his mouth has the werewolf come out of it. There we go. He's looking at it going, what am I looking at? Oh, wow. Okay, so this is a mix of a practical and uh, digital effects. Oh my Christ, it's upsetting. Oh. That's really gross. It's good though. It's so good. Wow. Underworld Awakening. Everything looks horrific. I love it. I feel like the special effects people who make these should be doing plastic surgery because they know how to really oh, shape a yeah, body. Oh yeah, no kidding. Some of these characters just look so real. They're so yeah. lifelike. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Legends, the legends. More DC Legends of Tomorrow. This was last year's movie that we watched? I think watched. so, yeah. Did you actually watch it? I think so. It was kind of ridiculous. That's really great. And then I have to come up here and hang out with this young lady. This looks crazy. She, um... Who is she from? I don't know if she's feeling too great. Generally, she doesn't look like she used to. Maybe she's sleepwalking. Could be that. She just looks so lifelike, hollow, dead. I do like the MTV logo idea, but I think I like that one. The more. Vancouver and Toronto, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can just get one and share it. Is there a large? Guys. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Gonna see. Here's a large here. So uh, they do shrink. Okay, okay. guys. Don't in the tumble. That was um, what I found out first time. <laughs> <laughs> we, find we need to find that out once. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was just good. You shrink. You can yeah. shrink it. So, cool. Yeah. You want to cool. do Take this one? one? Yeah. Ah. Yes. Wow. 
Holy crap. Those look like little eyeballs for a second. Yeah, the detail on that is spectacular. The TV series The Magicians, which I think we've watched. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Another, more jokes here. I think we also found more movies for 31 days. We certainly did. Wow, I want one of these. Which monster mask would you get? Uh, one of these two, one I think. One of the creepiest ones you can possibly yeah. do. Which one will freak us out every night? I think that one. That one looks more, the most horrifying. I don't know, I like the horns on the other you one. like this guy? But they're both good, it's hard to choose. They're the coloring is really good on They're absolutely incredible. Oh, that's all the names of the people who... Who worked on the 2018 Predator. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, wow. Incredible. Wait, maybe that was really the Predator they yeah. used. Yeah. He's really that big? Wow. This is amazing. This is like the funnest job. <laughs> I can't get over what's his name. Just there. D. White? Yeah. There's a table here where you can touch all the things. My favorite is the wolf down here that we played with earlier. You can touch the cockroach. Do you think they make those cockroaches? I feel like they must make these. They're not like the ones you buy from the store. No. It's sticky too. Is but it? Not really, but, but some, uh, sticky. Some insides. Ew. It feels, it feels, I can see how this would. Too real. I would see how this would. Okay. Oh, oh. Yuck. Spider-Man underwear on. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize there was a second. So there's ample parking. It's not too, too busy. So you might be able to score space. We had no problem getting a space here. So, pretty good. And we're next to like Brentwood Mall and Whole Foods. Yeah, behind the Whole Foods. Yeah, so it's really easy uh, to get Sky to. Sky Train Station is right there too. So get off at the uh, Gilmore Station and it's just like a, a block away. Well, that was pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know what, what to expect going there today, but uh, it mm -hmm. over delivered. It's a, it's a small little space, but they've jam packed it full of stuff. What did you think of it? I think it's cool as this little gem. If you don't know about it, you should go, especially if you're like a horror film fan or just a film fan in general. There's just really cool stuff. And these people are super, super talented. Oh God, yeah. Um, wow. A I'm, fun little Halloween thing to go to. We were in there uh, maybe a little bit, not, not probably an hour almost exactly. And mm -hmm. you could rush through it. You could spend some more time in it. There was a good steady flow of people coming in and out, but it wasn't too crowded. No, and people were breeding their kids too. Like, and kids didn't seem to have a problem with it. They have a problem with, you can't touch anything. They do yeah. have a touch area where you can touch some like guts and like little things. So if you ever want to feel what it feels like, like the rubber on like skin and stuff, it's really cool. Um, this is great because Vancouver doesn't have a lot of cool things to do and mm -hmm. I feel like this is a nice thing and Burnaby is amping up what the Halloween season and Burnaby and things to do they have yeah. so many events going on and this is the same people who did Pumpkins After Dark I think oh, really? have encouraged this to happen oh, as well okay. so it's on the Pumpkins After Dark website as another activity so they had multiple events I think Science World has something going on too like a murder mystery mm -hmm. so I there's love like that there's little things there. so we're gonna try and do a couple more things hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll see but For a city that has a ton of uh, productions and movie studio stuff mm -hmm. and, and things happening here, it's surprising that we don't have more attractions like yeah. this to, to check out because this was really, really cool. And like you said, just amazingly talented people living in our city. All around creating us. this stuff. Yeah. And it's just so cool. So I would definitely come and check this out. It was what, under $20? I think it was like seventeen. dollars I was, gonna, I was just going to look that up adult. and see how much... I think for us, with tax, we paid $50.40. Okay. So, uh, 
you know, $45 before tax. Uh, they had merch on sale that you could buy. So they had a, uh, probably three or four different t-shirts that you could choose from mm -hmm. and some other creatures. Uh, we ended up buying a shirt and uh, yeah, it feels pretty great. So mm -hmm. um, I love that. I love anything in the movie. I love that we have the movie, movie industry stuff here and mm -hmm. they're making it possible for us to see some of it. Yeah. Which is awesome. So if you like this video and hung around this long, I'd love it if you hit that uh, thumbs up button and give it a like. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, please do that as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, from Shannon and myself, until next time. Goodbye, goodbye humans. humans. Listen, everybody, I want to, I'm, I'm going to go home now.